There are two keys to energy security. One is diversification and the other is flexibility. So on both counts, actually Europe has done extremely well. And that's why, without criticizing the media, still there is a bit of a tendency, I think, in the media to uh, give the impression that Europe is in serious trouble from the standpoint of energy security. But our analysis suggests that even if there were a total cutoff of gas from Russia tomorrow, uh, that Europe is in a position to survive uh, perfectly well. Now, at some additional cost, for example, replacing Russian gas with LNG, uh, which is more expensive, security has a price, but nevertheless, um, from the standpoint of diversification, there are alternatives both in the near term and the longer term. As far as flexibility is concerned, the news is even better because since 2009, the European gas and power industries have increased the interconnectedness, uh, have made the system much more robust, flexible. There's been an increase in storage, all of which makes the European system extremely robust. Now, there are some weak spots. Bulgaria is vulnerable. Um, the Baltic Republics, may be vulnerable. Of course, LNG is coming to the rescue in Lithuania. Uh, and there are a couple of other spots that are not, no, not so, so well covered. But from the standpoint of energy security, the situation is actually quite good. Now, let me say one thing about Russia. Russia, you might say, has always had a kind of a left brain and a, bright, and a right brain where, where gas is concerned. Uh, Gazprom, on the one hand, is a state-owned corporation. And so, to some extent, its policies reflect the policies of the Kremlin. But Gazprom is also a very commercial company and, it's, uh, and has been very innovative, very entrepreneurial. Uh, look at the way Gazprom has uh, set up trading uh, subsidiaries all over, all over the world now. Singapore, Texas. Gazprom Marketing and Trading is a is a very commercial-minded company. Uh, Gazprom is traded on the world stock markets. Consequently, Gazprom management cares whether Gazprom's stock goes up or down. Um, Gazprom wants to make a profit in Europe. So don't leave that factor out of account. The Russians are in business.